Hello there and welcome back. So before going to the final step of our uh, track production, the mastering, uh, I want to show you another things that you can do. Uh, if you own external uh, gear like outboards or external effect with Ableton, you can uh, send the signal out and create a sort of uh, send and effects return. So I just got this amazing overstayer modular channel. It's a, a sort of channel strip that uh, gives you a lot, a lot of power. It has a preamp, it has a low pass and high pass filter, it has a EQ and a compressor, plus the distortion circuit that you can find in other overstayer product. So I li I'd like to uh, do a mix down before the mastering of this track through it, because I really like how it sounds. Um, so how you do that? First, you just use the external effect in um, your Ableton. If you go in Audio Effect, there should be Utilities, External Audio Effects. Then you bring it. In this case, I put it on the master. So right now, we can hear the full track. While my cat is eating my... Hey! Don't eat my cables. Uh, cats. So then I basically send the out to the, the audio out to 5 and 6 are the out of my Apollo and then back inside from 5, 6 still from the Apollo. So when I turn on this, basically the uh, feed is gonna go inside my overstayer. So now let's move to it and I'll try to... You can use this technique with many other uh, outboard gear and uh, uh, I decided to go with this one because a lot of uh, great artists uh, that I admire have it and uh, it's definitely a very very powerful workhorse. So right now it's disengaged. Now it's engaged. Uh, for a quick description we have here it's your preamp and input section. At this, you can decide to feed the audio through it in many different ways. It comes with a preamp or without, you can decide. In this case, I decided to route the um, signal into the uh, preamp to add some more tone to it. So from here, you decide the level of it. And at, right now, we keep it the same. Uh, it also, it's a stereo, of course channel it has uh, also the possibility to have uh, you can use it for a microphone it has phantom whatever so the first stage would be a low pass and high pass filter but before that you have three separate feed one would be the clean feed that goes here this is gonna be your dry feed and you can apply EQ and you can apply the pan pass. Uh, then you have your compression feed and we will work it on this one. And in the end, we have the saturation feed that comes, I think it leads into both this feed and had this different uh, saturation circuit. Mass two, mass three, the saturation and hex. Uh, I won't go on the small detail of it because, of course, there's uh, a lot to know. Uh, but let's just listen on how it sounds and uh, we will play a little. Okay, so it's engaged. Right now I'm listening to the uh, clean feed that goes through the bandwidth control. So I can cut a little the high pass and do the high peak. And then we have the EQ control. So you can decide that uh, Hertz you will push 50, 150, 300. So like a 150. Then the high end 
5 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 15. Let's keep it like this. And then presence basically you say select, select the kilohertz. You can gain match, of course. But I already like it opens up the mix very nicely. So at this point, we can add the compressor feed. So we can turn down this actually, and just here to the compressor, basically it's gonna be in parallel. So what I like to do with this guy, it's go very crazy and then use it in parallel. So basically as a sort of a, uh, enhancement so let's first select the threshold and here you see the db reduction while you would use it with a uh, slow attack here you can decide the attack since i'm using it in parallel i want to go fast i want to really feel this effect this is the makeup and the behavior actually works not It's like I think it is inverting the compression. Anyway, it sounds pretty crazy. So let's hear this. Now, the fun part is like starting to mix with the original feed. So let's bring that back and now let's add in parallel. And you can hear how it's have this interesting effect right now. This is without, this is with, again you can gain match. The last step is adding your distortion circuit. So you have it listened to the compression. So I think this is fit by the compression fit. Anyway, you have the drive here. And here you select the kind of circuit. So I like to go usually with this mass two or mass three, especially if it's a mix down, because I don't want to push the um, mix too much. I want to keep it kind of as much as possible as I did in the computer. So. I just had a touch of that. So now let's bring back what we were doing before and yet push some of this. Okay, so this is without, this is with. I love what I, what I, love what I hear. Uh, you can decide, for example, to not have the dry feed, the, the basic feed without EQ, and then cut like high pass, the distortion. That sounds nice too. So basically the compression and the distortion works not on the lower hand. So this is nice too. So, I think I'm gonna do more video about the overstayer, especially using with a single instrument, like you can fit into this synth, drum machine, and it, it, it sounds pretty amazing. So I decided to do just this video, separate video, to show another possible thing you can do when you are done with the mix down, if you have a, an outboard unit. You can do that. I, uh, I I also have the culture voltage that sometimes I use to get some nice distortion. I would like to have a, a G compressor or an API 2500 to do that sooner or later. So now you have to do a mix down of the uh, full thing. You can do an export audio video and you will do a full export. When that happen, it it will have to, it will listen basically to the um, 
external audio and it will we will have one stereo file and that will be the file that we use for the final mastering and that will be the last video of this series okay so hope you enjoy this uh, small uh, tour of the overstayer and i'll see you on the next one